Dude worth $245 million gives $2 million rock to model. Duh, she says yes. But there's more to Nina Agdal than you might think. Here's why this dream girl charmed YouTube's most notorious bad boy. In 1992, Nina Agdal was born in Hillard, Denmark, a town that boasts a population of just 36,000 people. Although she left her homeland in her teens to pursue a career in America, she still has family ties there and tries to visit twice a year. As she shared with Ola magazine, It's a different mentality I find from America. I love living in the US, but it's a very different mentality in the way you live. And you kind of just don't seem to stress so much. It's kind of awesome to be able to speak Danish because no one will know what you're saying. Agdal is also fond of the Hugo life, explaining, It's the traditional Danish word. It kind of means like cozy family time. It can include games or a drink or just hanging out, watching TV. But it's like a social setting where there's a certain mood of just pure relaxation. In March 2020, Agdal muscled in on Gwyneth Paltrow's territory when she launched her own wellness app. The Agdal method comprises the holistic approach to happiness she learned while studying to be a certified health coach. As Agdal shared with W Magazine, I wanted to create the Agdal method to start spreading the word that it's not about how long you spend in the gym, going to a workout for 60 minutes and torturing yourself, or only drinking green juices and eating lettuce. The Agdal method and the community behind it is what motivates me and inspires me every single day. Agdal also admitted that she's had difficulties in the past dealing with pressures society places on women, adding, The whole thing of the hot girl summer or summer body or all of these terms can be extremely triggering to a lot of us. Agdal's goal is to help others find ways to be healthy and happy at the same time. Before becoming a model, Agdal had ambitions far removed from the glitz and glam of the entertainment industry. She wanted to be an oral hygienist. She initially planned to study dentistry as a teen, but was eventually deterred by the time required for schooling. She told Galore in 2014, I have a passion for teeth. I brush my teeth at least four times a day. I floss them every night. I always try to make my friends do the same. That's the one thing I really like about myself, my teeth. I've never worn braces, so I feel like I owe it to them to take care of them. I smile all the time, so I feel like my teeth should be on point. Modeling wasn't something that I was like, I want to be a supermodel. I want to, you know, be famous. Despite having already found success as a model by that point, Agdell hinted, I want to be the cute, sweet dentist who gives people candy when they're done or something. She says Los Angeles seems like the perfect location for dentistry because of the importance locals place on their teeth. Agdal's career origin story sounds like the stuff of Hollywood fantasy. She was discovered by an agent on the streets of her Danish hometown and was offered a deal with elite models Copenhagen. But things got tougher when she moved to the U.S. after high school. She told Maxim that she burst into tears after landing in Miami, recalling, English was my worst subject in school. I was very shy about saying anything and was so scared. I landed with $40 and a little piece of paper with the address for the model apartment. Of course, Agdell was soon booking high-profile gigs. By 2016, she was able to purchase her own place in New York's Murray Hill. She says, It's the only place I can be by myself and not feel lonely. Agdal's big break came in 2012 when she was named the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue Rookie of the Year. The model revealed her ambitions to land the cover, a dream she fulfilled in 2014 when she fronted the 50th anniversary special. The magazine has since featured Agdal in four more issues. So much has happened both with me and my career. I feel like a whole new person. Agdal admitted that it was only when she moved to the U.S. that she understood the magazine's importance, telling the Post game, When I got over here, I didn't know what a big deal it was or how iconic it was to be in it. Now I get it, but back in Denmark, it's not something you really know about. I hope the Danish people know about it now, too, because I want to represent. In 2018, Agdal called out Venice magazine on Instagram after it refused to print photos from a shoot she did for them. The outlet argued that the model wasn't able to fit into the sample outfits and that the resulting images, quote, did not reflect well on her talent. Alongside a shirtless photo of herself, Agdell subsequently clapped back. Now more than ever, I embrace my curves and work diligently in the gym to stay strong and most of all, sane. I am proud to say that my body has evolved from when I started this crazy ride as a 16-year-old girl with unhealthy and insufficient eating habits still surprising to me. The fashion industry has long been embroiled in controversy over the unrealistic requirements for models. Speaking to W about the controversy, Agdal revealed, At the end of the day, there should be no judgment or body shaming on anyone. Obviously, I want to continue modeling, but it is just going to be a different direction where I can speak my own story too and not just be a face. An Atlantic codfish sandwich might not be the most glamorous of subjects, 
but Agdal certainly seemed excited about promoting it for a Carl's Jr. Hardee's commercial that ran during the 2013 Super Bowl. She told Fox News, When the commercial comes on, I'm going to try and film it with my phone so that I can email it. My grandmother is absolutely so excited. She's on YouTube all day. She's on Twitter, she's on Skype, she's on Facebook, she's everywhere. Agdell also revealed she was more into the halftime show than the game itself, adding, The thing is, I've never, ever watched football. I went to my first football game when I moved to Miami two years ago. I guess I'll have to watch it more to get into it. I watched the Super Bowl, but mainly just to have an excuse to eat burgers and drink beers. Agdell might appear like she doesn't have a care in the world, but in 2019, the supermodel disclosed that even after years in the business, she still suffers from crippling anxiety. During New York Fashion Week, she even experienced a panic attack at its opening event. Writing in a since-deleted post, As I have expressed before, I've been dealing with anxiety for quite some time now, and some days are worse than others, but during Fashion Week, it explodes. Wait, am I trying too hard? It's really complicated. Honestly, there's so much thought that goes into people sitting out there. It's work. Agdell avoids using alcohol to keep any nerves at bay. Explaining why she may not always seem her usual self at events, she said, It's not because I've lost it or have anything against you. It's simply because I get so overwhelmed these days that my brain capacity is 10% of what it normally is, and I struggle to have a conversation, so I avoid it. The star says she's taking time to manage her mental health. And she hopes that by being open, she'll help other people who go through the same thing. Logan Paul certainly isn't the first famous face that Agdell has ever dated. In 2013, she stepped out with Adam Levine shortly after the Maroon 5 frontman split with Victoria's Secret model and his future wife, Bahati Prince Lou. Remember like it was yesterday? Agdell and Levine first made a splash when they were spotted together on the set of The Voice, where Levine was appearing as a mentor. They were later snapped on vacation in Mexico. But within weeks, Levine and Prince Lou had not only reunited, but were engaged. Luckily, Agdell doesn't appear to harbor any bad feelings. She told Ocean Drive later that same year, I think love just happens. It happened to them, and I'm happy for them. Soon after splitting from Adam Levine, Nina Agdell began dating The Wanted's Max George. And it was clear that the boy bander was smitten. George and Agdell had been friends for six months before their relationship turned romantic. He said via E! News, She makes me laugh. She's so funny and daft. She's not at all high maintenance. She just likes to have fun. She's just a mate, and obviously, yes, she's absolutely stunning. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. She lights up the place and everyone loves her. All the boys, our security guard, and our tour manager. I've had a little bit to, to get over it, yeah. I guess. However, within just a few months, the pair had gone their separate ways. According to The Sun on Sunday, it was George who called things off. We can only speculate as to whether snaps of the model partying with one of the world's most famous actors had anything to do with it. Well, Agdal's previous flings ended before they really began, her relationship with serial romancer Leonardo DiCaprio lasted for an entire year. Two years after first being pictured together, the pair were spotted in May 2016 at a New York nightclub. They appeared to confirm they were an item a month later after being snapped during a Montauk getaway. The duo spent the rest of the summer vacationing before joining DiCaprio's mom on a trip to French Polynesia. This is the most insane thing I've ever done in my entire life. Things still appeared to be going swimmingly at the start of 2017, with the couple showing up at the Golden Globes, an Oscars after party, and a Chase Atlantic show. But around the time of their one-year anniversary, Agdell and DiCaprio split. It was the Hollywood star who apparently called things off, with a source telling people he's not ready to settle down and just isn't in the mindset to get married or have kids. Soon after the split, Agdell hooked up with Jack Brinkley Cook, the son of real estate developer Richard Taubman and supermodel Christy Brinkley. And this time, marriage, or at least an engagement, appeared to be in the cards. In 2020, Agdell celebrated their three-year anniversary by posting to Instagram. Still on a beach, still drinking wine, still cracking jokes no one else would find funny. And as she explained on Watch What Happens Live, she got along well with her potential mother-in-law too. Agdell praised Brinkley's looks and intelligence, adding, I like get surprised I walk out of the door in the Hamptons at 10 a.m. and she looks like 10 times better than I do at all times. But in 2021, after four years together, Agdell and Brinkley Cook went their separate ways. Agdell's eventful love life took an unexpected turn in 2022 when she began seeing a YouTuber, notorious for filming the victim of a suicide in a Tokyo forest, Logan Paul. But Agdell claims that despite his controversial reputation, she instantly fell head over heels. She told the Daily Front Row, We met at an event in NYC. I found out he was there and my gut was screaming that I had to say hi to him. We started joking around. It instantly felt like I had known him for years. And here we are. It was wild. Love you, Nina.
Damn, that was cheesy. Am I, if I'm blushing, cut this out. The couple got engaged in July 2023. In an Instagram story, the model gushed, I get to marry the boy of my dreams, my best friend, my rock, my soulmate. I love you so much. Logan Paul may have appeared in towering cinematic achievements such as Airplane Mode, The Thinning, and Where's the Money, but he's not the only aspiring actor in his relationship. You're not a terrorist, are you, mate? No, I'm a social media sensation. Indeed, Agdell has also graced the big screen on two occasions, and in much bigger projects. Admittedly, they were both blank and you'll miss it roles. Agdell first played a model in the movie adaptation of Entourage. Her second role involved playing herself in Joseph Gordon Levitt's direct to world debut, Don John. Agdell didn't seem particularly enthused about her involvement in Don John, telling Ask Men, I was in, what was it called? Don John? A movie about porn? I was in that for a hot minute. She was much more excited about rubbing shoulders with the Entourage cast. The star also expressed an interest in pursuing her acting career in the future.